first of all, markets have been kind of hopeful over the past couple of days uh, about a deal, right. some kind of trade deal coming out between the U.S. and China. The White House has sort of stirred the pot from time to time, suggesting that that may happen. Um, my view is that uh, there are some short-term incentives for both sides to arrive at some kind of a truce or a ceasefire, maybe push decision points down the road a bit. But that's very different from a resolution of the issues that are actually on the table. And I don't see either side really backing down or being close to substantively resolving those issues. But even if we get a ceasefire, you know, that the market will like that. What is a ceasefire in your view? I mean, is it is it the 10 percent tariffs not going to 25 plus a delay in the second tranche of tariffs? Right. But uh, essentially, you know, the thing that's been hanging over the markets, the thing that's been hanging over corporate earnings projections going forward, outlook has been this idea that you know, you're going from tariffs on a narrow range of goods uh, that are fairly modest to much larger tariffs on a much broader range of goods. And uh, that's just the U.S. side of the equation that people are concerned about the economic impact. That's not even talking about the retaliatory measures that China would take. So anything that sort of pushes that back a bit from being imminent would be welcomed by the market. You know, when people were trying to game out uh, how this all might unfold, people were saying that the declines in the stock market that we saw in October, that might cause the administration to think, you know what, maybe we need to do some sort of deal with China. The, the administration, uh, you know, their mark to market is the U.S. stock market. They won't like the market continuing to go lower. And here we are in a period where there are more people who believe that the stock market could go higher into year end, namely because uh, Fed Chair Powell came out yesterday and said that the path wasn't preset. Does that give perhaps cover then to the administration to be tough on trade? So, so the thinking in the market mm -hmm. is that maybe they might want to strike a deal because that would just that would boost the market. It's the, one of the things that's keeping the market down, and that would be good for the president. But I don't necessarily think that the president thinks about it that way. Uh, that he sees that his trade threats have hurt either the U.S. economy or the markets. Uh, I think, you know, his response to the news coming out from GM about closing plants shows almost the opposite, that he's quite convinced that this is the way to go and, uh, and that he's more likely to point the finger at the Fed if there are any negative outcomes for the economy. Um, on the Chinese side of the equation, you know, obviously China might suffer harm from an intensifying trade war, but the, it seems to me that they're kind of hunkering down, too. And, uh, you know, China faces, with, with or without trade sanctions from the United States, China faces some wrenching um, economic challenges ahead. And in, in some ways, it's almost convenient to be able to blame the United States for those. Um, and, and so I, I don't necessarily think that China is coming, you know, ready to cave or, or, or make a deal either right. on the substantive issues.